above, we're asked to find the maximum value of a quadratic function. And our quadratic function is y equals negative 1 fourth x squared plus 5x plus 4. So, first of all, this should be obvious that this function does have a maximum value because a quadratic equation like here describes a parabola. And since our coefficient on our leading term is negative, we know it's an upside down parabola and therefore it does have a maximum. So you got to be careful here though that you want to find the maximum value. That's not the same thing as using the vertex formula. Even though you need to use the vertex formula to figure it out, that's not all you need to do. So the first thing we're going to do is use the vertex formula, but remember that that tells you where the maximum occurs, not what the value is. So we need to use negative b over 2a to find the vertex, where the vertex of this parabola is. So if we use our numbers here, we get negative 5 over 2 times our a would be negative 1 fourth. We get our negatives to cancel out. We get 5 divided by 1 half, which is 10. So that tells us that the maximum of this parabola occurs when x equals 10. But the maximum value is what's the y value at that point. And to find the y value now that we know the x. So it's always handy to, to remind yourself of that fact. When you write the vertex formula, always write x equals negative b over 2a. So that'll tell you that x equals 10, but when you're looking for a value, we want the y. So we just need to go plug in x equals 10 here. So what we get is negative 1 fourth times 10 squared, which would be 100, plus 5 times 10, which would give us 50, plus 4. So negative 1 fourth uh, times 100 would be negative 25 plus 50, plus 4. So we get 25 plus 4 there, which is equal to 29. So that is the maximum value uh, of our quadratic function, 21.